If you're not sure why people are leaving Manhattan and renting in Brooklyn, today's apartment will clear all that up. Not only is it twice the size of anything you're gonna get in the village, it's also cheaper at $1,100 per person. And since this apartment's on Smith Street right by the train, it's only 30 minutes from Union Square. Less than 30 minutes according to Apple Maps. You give up nothing by living here. But I haven't been here myself and there could be a catch. Let's go take a look. Just got off the train right here at Bergen Street. This stop is like less than five minutes from the apartment, which is just down Smith Street this direction. Now, Smith Street is pretty cool. There are little shops and cafes on both sides of the street. Taco shop, local gift shop, butcher shop. Those are some serious cuts, amazing. Here's two more places you might or might not care about. There's a Starbucks right here across the street from that. There's a Dunkin' Donuts, which I'm not too wild about. Whenever I think I've decided which one of these is worse, the other one proves me wrong. Anyways, across from that Starbucks is a Lululemon. It's freezing out, it is December, but how is any of this gonna do anything about that? This bakery right here looks amazing. If you've got a sweet tooth, I think this is your spot. And if you wanna give yourself a heart attack or maybe diabetes, that's where the butcher shop is and the bakery is right here and the apartment is right over there. But wait a second, how can you have DC Comics and Marvel Comics on the same cake. What kind of witchcraft is this? Here we are at the building. Look at how small and cute it is, just three stories. Downstairs, we've got this bar slash restaurant, and there is a nail salon and a shoe store. Let's head upstairs and take a look. This is a huge apartment. In fact, it's so big that it kind of feels like a small house. We're on the second floor in a three bedroom apartment and this one apartment takes up half the floor of this building. What I also like is that the bedrooms seem to be spread throughout the apartment and every single room here is getting natural light, which is awesome. Now we're gonna check this place out so you can see what it would be like to live here. And if you wanna help me out, make sure you subscribe. That way YouTube will show my videos to more people. Right here's the front door. Two of the bedrooms are down the hall this way, and the other bedroom's right here facing the street. We've got a closet right here next to the front door. In fact, it is a walk-in closet with a light. You've got some shelves in here, that looks useful. And that looks great for jackets and things. Now the living room and the kitchen are the same room, but there's definitely good separation between where the kitchen is and where your hangout spot is probably gonna be. We're gonna measure from the kitchen counter here to the wall. We've got 17 feet, two inches. And from that wall right there over to here, we've got seven feet. But the larger section of the room over here is 12 feet, five inches. You could make all of this a living room. And of course, if you did that, you'd have no problem getting a couch, a couple recliners, and a big entertainment center in here without issue. But you could also use this half of the room for your living room, and then this half right here for your dining area. To me, that makes a lot of sense if you want a dedicated spot to sit and eat, which is right next to where the kitchen is, right over there against the wall. But no matter what you decide to do with this space, it is a lot of space. You're gonna like the kitchen here. Full-size fridge, full-size stove with four burners. There's a dishwasher, and there is also a wine fridge with enough space for more than just a couple of bottles of wine. There's also cabinets everywhere you look. And the counter space here is really good. Plenty of space over here by the stove and plenty of space in this corner for kitchen appliances or iPhones. And even though it's not brand new, it's really well designed. I like how it's in the corner of the room right here that just makes this whole apartment, which is already very large, feel even larger, which is the whole reason you're gonna move to Brooklyn in the first place. Now we're gonna check out the bedrooms and since two of the rooms are down this direction and one of them is over here facing the street, we'll knock this guy out first and then we'll see the two in the back. The 
The street facing room is 11 feet, three inches, eight feet. There's enough room in here for a queen size bed, no problem. And since we've got two windows that are facing the street, we're getting a lot of natural light and this room is never gonna feel dark or depressing. Plus, because it faces the street, you are always gonna have something cool to look at. Now there's no closet in here, but since this room is a nice rectangular shape, you can put a standing closet wherever you want and that gives you more options with where you're gonna put your bed. And depending on how big of a bed you get, how many other things you're gonna put in here as well. You've gotta love the separation between where these rooms are and where everything else is. That's always nice in a big apartment when things are kind of spread out. The first room, let's get the lights on in here, that we're walking into faces the back of the building. And this room is gonna be nice and quiet even though the view isn't necessarily anything spectacular. But the size of this room's amazing. 16 feet, 11 inches by seven feet, five inches. It's also got a decent closet with some overhead storage. That's great for stuff you don't need all the time. Now, because this is where the closet is, I would probably put the bed as far as I could in this direction. If you have the bed down here, it's gonna be easy to get in and out of the room. And since this place is so big, putting dressers or desks or whatever along the walls between where the closet and over here where the bed's gonna go is definitely something you'll have room for. Here we are in the room next door, which has two windows. Now these each face the back of the building as well. They're getting natural light. And the layout here is great too. It's 10 feet, seven inches by 13 feet, four inches. We've also got a nice big closet here. And I think out of all three of these rooms, this one's gonna be the easiest setup just because it's so square. You could put your bed in several different spots and no matter where you decide to put it, there's gonna be other room in here for pretty much anything else you want. I think that last room's my favorite, but let me know in the comments if I'm crazy or not. And now we'll check out the bathroom. There are vanity lights above the mirror, but the bulbs need to be changed. Either way, we've got a medicine cabinet. There's additional storage beneath the sink. There's also a fan so you can easily air this place out after someone takes a shower. But you don't have to take a shower because there is also a jacuzzi tub. And this is a really deep tub. You have to step up and over to get into it. This is a solid bathroom. It's big, it's easy to move around. You're not gonna die when you get out of the tub. And it's a jacuzzi tub. But the best thing about this apartment is that if you wanna rent it, you can deal directly with the owner. Check out the video description for a link to the owner's contact information. And then let's see some more apartments together. Right here, our apartment tour is check out one of those and I will see you in the next video.